Hola, welcome back to another step of step by step Spanish. I hope you are doing great and I hope that your Spanish learning process is going phenomenal. First of all, from the team of step by step Spanish, I would want to wish all of you and your families a very, very happy new year. I wish you a lot of health, happiness, wealth and prosperity in this year. And I would also want to apologize for the unforeseen delay. But as always, I will try my best to keep up with the pace in uploading the videos. And I would also want to take a moment to thank you for your immense support throughout. I have been getting a lot of emails about a lot of things and we shall discuss all that towards the end of the video. But today, let us start with another very important verb in Spanish, which is the verb ir. And I have a lot of things to discuss with you towards the end of the video. So let us finish up with the learning part first and then we shall have some very important things to discuss. So let us start. The verb ir is a completely irregular verb. Now we have already done what do I mean by regular verb and what do I mean by irregular verb. The irregular verbs are the verbs that do not follow the given pattern of conjugation. Okay, so uh, ir is a completely irregular verb means it does not follow the pattern that an ir verb should follow in any of the subjects. What is the meaning of the verb ir? The meaning of the verb ir is to go. Okay, and as I told you that ir is a completely irregular verb, that means it does not follow the pattern of conjugation in any of the subject. So the conjugation of the verb ir in yo is boy, in tu it is bas, in el, ella, usted the conjugation is ba, in nosotros, nosotros, in nosotras, noso in nosotros, nosotras, in nosotros, nosotras, the conjugation is vamos. In vosotros, vosotras, the conjugation is vais. And in ellos, ellas, ustedes, the conjugation of the verb is van. So the conjugation, as I have told you, that ir is a completely irregular verb. If you look at the verb, you see that the conjugations do not match with the basic form of the verb. So that is why I have told you that ir is a completely irregular verb. The conjugation of the verb is yo voy, tu vas, él ella usted va, nosotros vamos, vosotros vais and ellos ellas ustedes van so why it is important because the this verb to go we use in a lot of different contexts when we go to different things when we go to different places when we use different mode of transport so for and with the verb ir we need to remember three things First is, it only takes a certain preposition. Uh, now, what do I mean by a preposition? We will do that in detail in a lot of videos. But preposition basically tells you the position of uh, any noun, right? So, why the verb here is important is and why we need to learn it separately for two reasons. One, that it is completely an irregular verb. And secondly, ir can only take three prepositions. What is a preposition? What are the rules for the preposition? We will do that in a separate video. But with the verb ir, we can only use three preposition. The first preposition is a, which means to. Okay. So, for example, if you go to some place, Okay, so you always uh, use the preposition a after uh, the verb ir. For example, if I want to say uh, I go to the market, if that is what I want to say, then I will say yo voy a el mercado. But in Spanish, 
there is a rule that if we have the preposition a immediately followed by the article l then we always make it al okay and you must be wondering why do we do that we do it because both a and a are two strong vowels and we cannot have two strong vowels together uh, but if we have a followed by the subject l which is with the accent we never change it because then it has its own uh, tilde okay we'll do that in details later but for now i wanted you to be very careful if you have a followed by the article l we do not write it like this we always make it al mercado and this is only applicable for the masculine singular article for example if i want to say uh, they all go to the university they all go to the university and i know that university is la universidad so ellos again ellos is not mandatory you can keep it you can remove it as well ellos pan a la universidad so here since it is la so i'm not changing it okay we all go to the classes okay then it will be nosotros which is uh, optional vamos a las classes so if you are going to any place we always use the preposition a with the verb ir the next preposition that we use with the verb ir is n n generally is used in the context of in okay so whenever we are using any mode of transport whether you are going in the metro whether you are going in the car in the bus in the plane in the train anything that whenever you are using any mode of transport to go to any place we always use the preposition n i go to the office in the car okay now here i am using two things i am going to the place which is the preposition a and i am also using mode of transport which is the preposition n so let us try how will we do it so yo which again is optional yo boy a la oficina en el coche okay or if i want to say uh, you all go to france in the aeroplane so i can say vosotros which is optional buys a francia and l avion avion so so if i'm saying you all go to france in the aeroplane i can say buy a francia and l avion which is aeroplane okay as as always if you have any problems or if you do not know any particular word that you want to use uh, in spanish you can always go to the website that i had previously recommended to you which is wordreference.com which i trust and use personally as well i will put the the link in the description of this video and you can use that and also we use another preposition with the verb ir which is they okay they is 
generally off but here we use it with purpose for example there are certain expressions that we use with the uh, they for example whenever you go for something whenever there is the purpose of doing something for example uh, there are certain expressions ir de vacaciones means to go for vacations uh, ir de uh, compras to go for shopping ir de excursion which is to go for an excursion ir de pesca to go for fishing similarly similarly we have ir de paseo which is to go for a walk um ir de viaje to go on a trip so these are certain expressions that we use with the verb ir and the preposition de if i want to say we all go for vacations in september we can say vamos so these as i have told you previously these expressions we always give you in, in the infinitive form but when you use that in a sentence we always conjugate the verb according to the subject so vamos de vacaciones en septiembre okay or if i want to say quan goes for fishing with manuel so i can say quan ba de pesca con manuel con manuel or you go on a trip to jaipur uh, in the car i can say uh, tu bas de viaje so to jaipur a jaipur n l coche that is also right so if i have to summarize everything quickly for you so we today we have covered the verb ir which means to go it is a completely irregular verb whose conjugation is boy bas ba vamos bais and ban ir can only take three preposition so if you are going to a place then we generally use the preposition a with the verb ir if you are using any mode of transport then we use the preposition n uh, with the verb ir and if you are going for any purpose then we generally use the preposition de depending on the subjects you can use these prepositions separately or you can use all of them in the same sentence as we have done towards the end also so i hope that you have understood the verb ir as always you can find the answers of the task given in the previous video in the description of this video and you will find these notes along with today's task in the description of this video as well and uh, i wanted to 
थैंक यू फॉर ऑल दी कंटिन्यूड सपोर्ट दैट आई हैव बिन गेटिंग फ्रॉम यू गाइज आई अ लॉट ऑफ यू हैव बिन ई मेलिंग मी रिगार्डिंग द द क्लासेज रिगार्डिंग कंटिन्यूइंग द वीडियो सो आई वुड सर्टनली वॉन्ट टू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर पुटिंग सो मच फेथ एंड ट्रस्ट इन मी आई रियली अप्रिशिएट एंड आई विल आई प्रोमिस दैट आई विल ट्राई to uh, upload the videos regularly i do have a lot of other things in pipeline uh, but one thing that has been most requested is online classes yes guys i do take online classes uh, i do prefer that in a batch uh, whose size uh, generally does not increase more than uh, or more than eight students uh, just to just so that i can assure that uh, there is effective learning rather than just doing a course and in the description link of this video since all of you since most of you have requested me or for online classes in the description link of this video you will also find a google form which you can fill and uh, send it to me uh, which will tell me why you will want to learn spanish what are your preferable time what are your thoughts about it how you want to go about it and uh, once i get your response then i am planning to start another uh, beginners batch towards uh, the end of next week or next week uh, based on your responses we can decide the time which suits everyone and once you fill up the form i'll get the details and i'll get back to you uh, soon as well and uh, i would certainly want to thank you so much for your support as always if you are interested in learning spanish from me online you can fill up the form and i shall get back to you with the details as soon as possible but that does not mean that um, you know you cannot do it on your own it completely depends on your style of learning if you you are very comfortable learning with the, it with the videos and you want to ask me questions you can do that way if you're more comfortable in um, learning spanish with me separately you can do it that way it is completely absolutely up to your learning style uh, my videos will continue to support you if you still have any questions you can write in the comment section of this video you can email me uh, my email address is you can find in the description link of any video including this one so if you want to learn with the videos you can do that if you want classes you can do that completely up to your style of learning and uh, i i completely uh, i sincerely hope that you will keep on supporting me as always you will do the task given in today's video and please do not like to uh, like share and subscribe to my channel and i shall see you very soon this time in the next video Take care and adios.